So the Limelight is really one of the more interesting projects we have going on around town. It is located in the heart of downtown Omaha at 16th and Harney. And what we are doing and what makes this project so special is that we are taking the old two-story concrete learner shops, keeping them intact with their original ceilings and frames, and building a three-story wooden framed building on top of it. We started working on this project, oh, about a few months ago. Uh, it's gone through a few iterations of different styles of project. and. Where we've ended up today is we're adding 39 living units as well as a nice retail space down on the main floor of the building. Uh, it's an old two-story concrete building. We are currently in the process of reinforcing the foundations of the building and creating a concrete beam structure up on the roof so that we can add three stories of wood framing for the new units. Uh, and what is it when we get up to the roof today? What are we going to see them doing? Right now they're working on the concrete beam system that's going to help provide support for the new framing. So you're going to see them, well today we'll be seeing pouring some, pouring some concrete beams uh, in preparation for the new, for the new units. What, uh, what kind of challenges do you face when you add exist, or new floors to an existing building? Oh actually we run into quite a few things. You know you always, with an existing building, uh, you're always going to have a few layout challenges in particular. Um, some dimensional things that you have to be darn sure of, especially in a building where you're using the existing structure for structural support for your new building. So mainly it's going to be layout and just the unknowns, just things you run into as you go. Did the uh, team of engineers and contractors have to come up with any special, unique solutions to anything that you don't normally, don't normally see? Yeah, I, you know, in this case, because of the, again, we have a good old building here, a good concrete structure, and that's great. But because of the additional load, we've had to reinforce that structure to carry the new building. So they've had to be a little creative in how they've done that. They've done a great job in designing it. Uh, it's going to be a real nice project when we're finished. Was there any extra safety precautions you would need to take on doing a pour like this where you're up two, three stories off the ground floor and on an old building? Uh, for us, it's really nothing extra. Um, you know, we want to make sure guys are tied off. Um, fall protection protections in place, you know, all your standard stuff that you need to deal with on any daily basis anyway, but, um, you know, in particular, when you're up on a roof like that, you just want to make darn sure that everybody's being safe and that nobody's going to get hurt.